Hey, how you doing? It's Kwan Mayo, and today we're going to talk about the benefits of Wi-Fi because some people don't know and don't have a clue, so we're going to educate. All right? So some people have the misconception is it's just a hot spot, or even the people that do know what the, uh, the benefits of it or know how it works just don't understand the benefits of it and how it works or how is it going to even work for other businesses. So since this isn't new, the only thing new about what we're doing is the fact that we made it mobile. What I'm going to do is go back, research, and then we're just going to just go back some uh, what's already been documented. So that's the good thing about when something's already been done, you know, documentation beats conversation. We don't even have to talk about it. Just go back, read it, and then see what the, what they already say. So as you can see from this article, I'm not going to read this whole article, but this article I pulled off uh, the web. This was published, published 2016. Also, let's keep in mind, if we get something published that was older than new, and some of the some of the some of the things they're talking about is actually going to be more intense in today's day and time. Like for instance, it's a part that we're going to get to later on in the in the um in the in the in the, in the, in the um story and on one of the other sites that I have where it's going to say that this was uh this this came out and it's been and it's been going great and it's been doing big numbers for businesses in 2000 i think 14 15 and it was saying that people don't mind giving up their information well they really ain't gonna give my don't mind giving up the information nowadays so if that rang true in 2014 and that was 54 percent or something then you can best believe that number went up in 2018 you know because back then people were way more you know stuck on security than they are now nowadays people give up the information for a donut so you know next to nothing so now you know we're going to go through all those so we can put most of that like i said to bed and most of the stigmas to bed so i think most of us already know with social wi-fi and i'm going for social wi-fi because social wi-fi and guest wi-fi is pretty much the same thing um the social wi guest wi-fi really is when you get someone wi-fi for free social wi-fi is when a person actually opts in or use a social media account first and then gives you that information and then they get to use your uh and uh, your Wi-Fi in turn lets you be able to advertise to them. So what are the benefits of social Wi-Fi? Thanks to this technology, for the first time in history, brick and mortar businesses can obtain greater data than their online counterparts, says Stacy Dupree Perpy, author of the ebook Number One Social Wi-Fi Marketing Tool. Once you capture your customer's information, you have an opportunity to immediately message them, email, or text, and positively impact your bottom line and enhance their customer experience through information or special offers. The best part of the customer is there is no apps there that they have to download or cumbersome login experience, which is what I say. If a person just has to click a button and it's going and they get to get what they want, that that's not a big deal to the average person. They're gonna say, hey, hey, we do it all the time. Click our Facebook account to get to get to the next step. And we all do that. It says, um personalized offers can be built using this data to underscore the power and promise of social Wi-Fi. Consider what Turnstile's platform was able to accomplish for subway restaurants between February in May of 2015, using the technology at 54 of its locations, Subway achieved 16,000 users into a, its new marketing program in only four months. 17% coupon redemption on opt-in offers, 5.2 times more loyalty from customers after redeeming their opt-in offers, and 1.8 times more frequent returns from customers who opted into the social Wi-Fi versus those who didn't. It also has the potential of having more retention in your in your establishment because if a person stops eating or drinking or doing whatever they came to do, then they have no real reason to stay there and then they leave. But if a person finish eating, drinking, and then they get on their laptop or their tablet and they start messing around, then that could turn into those minutes could easily turn into hours or even if it was just, you know, like I said, thirty minutes later, forty five minutes later, hour later, they could easily be thirsty again, hungry again, and now they're ordering uh something else. So that right there also is going to help you be able to have more retention within your establishment. But also right here, you can see that you can see that that if this wasn't taken off, also that other big companies wouldn't be starting to get put get their foot in it. So right here, you see that Yelp has its own Wi-Fi service that they un, that they unleashed. It's called Yelp Wi-Fi. It kind of runs the same, but it's a lot different. But still, it's so that businesses can start offering Wi-Fi and then in turn be able to send the that Wi-Fi. So again, they wouldn't even get into this space if they felt like this wasn't something that was beneficial to a business. And it says, this means more happy repeat customers. In fact, businesses using Yelp Wi-Fi have seen up to an 80% increase in customer loyalty and engagement. 
80% increase in customer loyalty engagement. This is why this is an easy sell. This is why it costs as much as it does for most of these businesses. Like I said, most of these businesses are paying anywhere from $100 to uh, $200 a month to get started. Forbes. Now look what Forbes had to say. It says, according to Jiwire, the facts are clear as it relates to the value of proximity marketing. 53% of consumers are willing to share their current location to receive more relevant advertising. Okay? That's more. I was, this is, again, this article, let me see when this article was published. This article was published in 2014. So, what, four or five years ago already, we could easily, you know, that, that, right, that number has jumped up. So, 53% of consumers were willing to share their current location to receive more relevant advertising in, 2000, in 2014. I guarantee that number went up in 2018. 57% of customers are more likely to engage with location based advertising. 62% of customers. Are, uh, are willing to share their local deals with are willing to share local deals with friends and 63 of consumers feel like coupons is the most valuable form of mobile marketing so all these more than half of you know the people out there the population feel that that's effective you know more than half so this is already like I said this is and this is 2014 this has already been proven all we're doing now is taking it one step further like I said and making it mobile And so you can see that you know royalty has the best price, as you can see right here from this article. It says while social Wi-Fi costs will vary depending on the supplier and range of services desired, most clients pay a subscription fee that can average 100 to 150 or more monthly per location, which includes the hardware, software, and support. Now remember, notice they said per location, so that means you put it somewhere. That's where it's at. You can't move it from there and go somewhere else and go from somewhere. So one location, you're paying 100 to 150 dollars a month, and royalty you only got to pay 29 dollars. And you can have it in any location. So now I'm going to bring up, I'm going to show you just also, like I said, everybody's getting into this space, even to the point of Facebook even recently got into this space, believe it or not. And I'll show you. What are we doing? So look at, let's go to Facebook real fast. And you can go down here to now. Let me make this small for you. A lot of people, you know, feel like, oh, you know, no one needs Wi Fi or no one's looking for Wi Fi because, you know, you got it on your phone already. Oh, you got hot spots on your phone. And, you know, you got good service. You got unlimited and blah, blah, blah. But that has nothing to do with your laptop. That has nothing to do with your. Your tablet, that has nothing to do with the kids' tablets and the kids, you know, you're not trying to get service for them sometimes. You just want it for yourself. So it's a lot of different reasons why people need Wi-Fi. But if it wasn't, then Facebook would not have added it to their algorithm, I mean, to their uh, platform, right? Because they only put things on there that's going to be profitable. So as you can see right there, it says find Wi-Fi. Now, look how many people in the neighborhood, this is just in my area right here. Look how many people just in my area is offering free Wi-Fi. So that's one two three all these got free Wi-Fi right here four five six this is just in my local area seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen they go these different places sixteen seventeen eighteen I mean, I think you're starting to get the point here. Look at all these different places. So if, all, if it wasn't something that they felt was tangible to their business, then they wouldn't even add it to their services. Look at all these different places. And these are all big brands, but there's also, you know, small small brands as well. So if you walked into all these different places and you already, and you asked them the number one question, which was, do you offer free Wi-Fi? They're going to say, yep, we sure do, nice and proud. You're going to say, are you monetizing that? Now, the minute that they say, we mean we monetize, and no, we just give our people free advertising. You just open up a door for an easy conversation to have. You're going to say, well, you know what? With this device, $29 a month. You think Star you think uh, Starbucks can't afford $29 a month? You think Rich Man Stronies can't start? You think McDonald's Taco Bell right there can't afford $29 a month? You think any of these restaurants or any of these establishments can't afford $29 a month? Everybody can afford $29 a month. So now for $29 a month, 
Instead of just giving all these people free Wi-Fi and them getting nothing out of it in return, they can continue to give them free Wi-Fi. But now they'll actually be able to say afterwards, okay, now I got their contact information. I can go back and recharge it to them. Now I can get send them a coupon that you see this article said was very effective. Or I can send them offers, you know, and I can sit there now and be able to monetize all these different people that's using my Wi-Fi every single day, you know, and now make it beneficial. So this right here lets you see that obviously this is this a new program, like I said, Facebook put out. And obviously they wouldn't have did it if people wasn't searching for it. So people ask the question, yeah, if people research for Wi-Fi, absolutely. Because if they wasn't, then all these people would have no need to be adding it to their service. Okay? So like I said, documentation beats the conversation part of it. Like forget what I say. Just check the resume and all this. It says it right here. You know, this is right here. They all offer it because people want to use it. And all they have to do is nothing different but monetize it so now they can keep doing what they've been doing people still coming you no know, it, it would be so people wouldn't even see it coming because they would just say oh yeah free wi-fi i guess it's their new page and they would just go to that page but the only difference is now you would be collecting data so this was just to show this is just a quick one this is the quick video like i said i'm gonna show i'm gonna do another video later that shows uh the uh, the befores and afters and me actually in the field but until then i gotta do these type of videos where i actually just show up you know show previous uh, um, data from the past and there's also other sites just go to Google you can go do your own research you know don't take my word for it go to Google go see for yourself go see the benefits of this technology go see how you can use it and then you can start you know opening up your mind and say okay now I see the benefit now I see how powerful it is because it's very powerful if you use it in the right way but if you don't then you know you're just looking at it as another hot spot then yeah I guess you don't get the bigger picture so again just wanted to get that to you guys you want to uh, get any more information, feel free to call me, 619-306-9453, and I'll help you out. If you already get it, you got it, you just want to get yours, then go ahead and hit the hit the link below, getmoneylikeaboss.com, and then we'll get yours and get yours to you right away. Be on the list to get yours first. You know, they, they say shipping them out now, and, um, you know, first come, first serve, as far as who's going to be getting them the quickest. All right, with that being said, see you later. Peace. Have a blessed day.